we got a lot of training to do today. Today I'm going to be sharing eight Kali striking techniques on the stick and also on the bolo if you've got a good training bolo. So let's get right to it. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, smash that thumbs up button, and let's train. All right, first striking technique in Kali is our fluid slashes. Some styles of Kali will call this a fluid strike. Other styles will call this like a loptic, which just basically means a fluid strike. What that is, we're starting on one side of the body, we're striking all the way through the center line, ending the strike on the other side of the body. Uh, so we can really do this with any kind of strike. Any kind of strike can be fluid, but we're gonna take a look at the fluid slashes. From here, we're gonna strike a one. I just want you to focus on perfecting your angle one. So you have that 45 degree diagonal strike going all the way through. Make sure it's going through the head to protect your head. All the way through. So we got one strike right there. Get about 10 to 100 repetitions of a perfect angle one, and you want them all to be the exact same. Right there. Let's take a look at another 10 reps on the fluid number one slash. Now, once you have that number one and you've repped out 10 to 100 reps, now you want to also rep out the angle two. So we're coming through on that angle two, all the way through, again, making sure that you're protecting the head. All the way through on the slash. Pull the slash all the way through. Even if you're using a stick, work it as if you're using a sword and you're getting a nice clean cut. So we got, let's do 10 of them right now. Ten more with the training bolo. Uh, once you got your fluid slashes, angle one, angle two down, then you can do a round where you're putting the two together, making a nice seamless transition from angle one to angle two. One, two, one, two. Second striking technique is what we call our broken hacks or broken cuts. Some styles will also call these broken strikes with teaks. So different styles will have different terminologies, but they're relatively the same. So the broken strikes, we're gonna start off at that chamber position on one side of the body, hit to the center line, and then retract it to the original side of the body. So that's our broken one right there. We can also perform our broken two right there. You can do this with any strike really. Any kind of strike, you can either strike fluid or broken or loptic with teak. Let's go ahead and get 10 angle one broken strikes in. All right, let's work some broken angle twos. Our third striking technique is our rising strikes or uppercut strikes. Sometimes we put these two together and we'll call them our upper eight. So from here, we're striking what's at Kali Center is our angle three and our angle four. And we're gonna strike these all the way through, making a big figure eight right in front of the body. Again, I want you to think of nice, clean slashes. And right now, these are, if you've already guessed it, these are fluid slashes. But we're gonna bring them together right here into our upper eight cuts. Right there. All right, let's go ahead and get 10 reps of these in together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do another ten with the training bolo. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
fourth striking technique I've got for you today is our vertical strikes. So from here, we have what's called our vertical redondo strikes. So we have the forehand side first. We're going to strike a vertical strike that can circle all the way around right here off of the forehand strike. Right there. One, two, three. From the side. One, two, three. You got to make sure that even though we're striking vertical right here, don't go too vertical where you end up smashing your knee. So the, the weapon is actually a little bit on an angle, so that way the hand can bypass right through the side of your body. Your hand can go right through that hip position right there. So it's not necessarily like you're perfectly, your hand is on center line with your weapon. It's a little bit off the line, so that way you can bypass your body without risking running your weapon into your own leg. Let's go ahead and get 10 reps on the forehand vertical redondo. Let's take a look at that vertical forehand redondo with the training bolo. If we can do it on the forehand side, we can do it on the backhand side. So we got the backhand vertical redondo. From starting right here in the backhand position, we're going to come down on the vertical strike right here. Boom. This one is pretty common. You see this everywhere all across the different styles and systems of Filipino martial arts. So let's go ahead and get 10 of them in. And of course, with the bolo. Our fifth striking technique is our overhead horizontal redondos. From here, we're gonna strike overhead right here and bring it all the way around the body. So you're gonna notice that these are circular strikes. Okay, we've done fluid strikes, we've done broken strikes, and now we're looking at circular strikes. So those are the three different energies and flows when it comes to weaponry in Kali. We have fluid strikes, broken strikes, and circular strikes. There's a little trick when it comes to our horizontal redondos going around the head right here that I wanna share with you. As we're coming through, what happens is a lot of people start kind of bumping themselves in the head right here. You gotta lift your elbow. From here, lift the elbow so that way you can clear your head right there. All right, let's go ahead and get 10 reps in right now. Horizontal redondo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now with the bolo. Striking techniques number six is the thrust. I'm actually going to give you two of these right here. I'm going to put two of them together because they are kind of sister. One is a little bit longer and the other one is using a shorter side of the stick. So let's take a look at them. All right, our thrust, we have our center line thrust, our backhand thrust, and our forehand thrust right here. These can all go fluid or they could be broken kind of jabbing type thrusts. Let's just work the broken jabbing type thrusts. Let's go ahead and get 10 reps in. So we're going to go into the center line into the backhand, into the forehand side, right there. Let's get 10 of them in. The other variation of thrust that we can do is the puño strikes. So from here, let's go ahead and work in our basic puño strikes. We can hit with the puño right here on that number one. We can hit it right there on that number two. We can also hit horizontal to the rib cage and then horizontal to the rib cage right there. So we have one puño strike, two puño strike, a three puño strike, and a four puño strike right there. Let's go ahead and work it out and get 10 reps in. The seventh Kali striking technique, one of the most underrated striking techniques in Kali, is the abaniko. 
Some styles call it the abanico. I've heard other systems call it the batik, other systems that I've trained in. Whichever, they are the fanning or like the quick flicking motions of the stick. A lot of times these are like half or like a quarter of a strike and they get underestimated. People think that they don't do a lot of damage, but you'd be really surprised that when you strike somebody with one of these types of abanico strikes, how much damage it can really do. It can easily split the skin. It can even break the bones, the small bones in the hands. So from here we have our high horizontal abanicos. You don't want to just stand here like this and doing wrists. You want to get the whole body behind it. And then we also have the low abanicos as well. Let's go ahead and do 10 high abanicos together. and 10 low abanicos, I'll do it with the bolo. Kali, striking technique, number eight. This is one of my favorites, it's the florete. The florete, the petals of the flower. This is a double circular slash in one angle, in one movement. From here we have one, two slashes in one cut. One, two slashes per cut. So it's back edge, main edge, back edge, main edge. All right, so from here, we can get this going. Back, forward, back, forward. If you are a uh, sponsor to our channel here, I've done a tutorial where I've broken down the techniques of the Florettis. So if you wanna see a broken down video and lesson of the Florettis, Go ahead and click the join button right below this video and check out becoming a sponsor to the channel where you can get access to our members' videos. I do repost those videos quite frequently because they're really, really good and very detailed in the instruction. So if you want to get that full breakdown on the Florettis, go ahead, click the join button and become a sponsor of the channel today. Let's go ahead and get 10 reps in of our ones and twos Florettis. Of course, 10 reps with the bolo. All right, there you got it. Eight awesome striking techniques from Kali, from Eskrima, Arnis, Filipino martial arts. Grab your stick, grab your training bolo, get outside and go practice these eight striking techniques right now. For more training here with Kali Center, make sure you do a couple of things. Number one, hit the subscribe button and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Hit that little bell so you get notified every time I have a new video uploaded. Click the join button right below this video or any of our videos and check out becoming a sponsor to our channel and then you get access to all of our exclusive training videos we have right here on YouTube in our members area at our channel. And also don't forget to head on over to KaliCenter.com where you can purchase additional training materials that will take your Kali training all the way to a whole new level. Also check out our different merch. We got new shirts, we got new hats, all kinds of really cool gear. You can grab sticks, we got different training tools and all that cool stuff all over at KaliCenter.com. All right guys, I'm gonna get back to the training. I'm working these eight strikes today, dialing in some coordination, adding some footwork, getting a good workout in. So I'll check you back here next time for some more Kali training. Mm -hmm.